find sometimes it's really hard to get a very clean, straight, precise line when you paint an encaustic wax. So one way of be a, being able to create that is doing something that's called embedding. And I like to work sometimes with a tool that's just a very narrow, screw, uh, flat screwdriver. And in this particular instance, I may just come back into this and decide that, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm just going to gouge into this wax. I've got pretty good layer of wax going on here. We've put about five layers down. So I'm cutting in and I am just free designing. I mean, you might decide that what you would like to do is work with um, uh, little stencils and if I've got stencils right here and so I might decide, well, what I'd really like to do is uh, get a couple of very precise circles running down this thing. Round shapes. So you could use this, you can use stencils, you can use, you can go freehand. It completely depends on what you're interested in doing. But the whole idea is that what we're doing is we're gouging out the wax. We're creating these little valleys that now need to be filled. And so I'm going to fill them with a, oh, we are all over the place here, aren't mm. we? But that's not a problem. I, my brush is very loaded, which is great. So it's just filling up the space very fast. I could leave those drips there too. They're kind of nice. And there's, there's nice things that you can do with drips. So while I have those drips there, and you're letting that dry, you're not using the heat gun. Not yet. I'm going to actually <laughs> throw a few drips up there, which I'll fuse in a minute. But we go back to the scraper that we need so, so desperately. And the good thing about this is you want to start to scrape away the excess wax fairly early in the game when you are doing embedding. You do it gently, and if you do it early, it, the, the job is easier because the wax is soft. Again, I'm putting my color back into the pot if it's clean and clear and doesn't have anything else in it. And as we scrape down, what remains is these very clear, very sharp lines, which are a challenge to do using a brush and the wax. And you can crisscross these. Uh, I've got, I've done whole bodies of work embedding, embedding wax. And now this one is not so good. That one is going to be a problem. We'll probably have to go back and fix that. Why? Because it's too soft? It was a little soft, and uh, the way it filled into the hole, the, it didn't really have a chance to adhere. Mm -hmm. But the hole is still there, so we'll go back and we'll redo that. That's not a problem at all. You could do that, a different color if you want. I could do a different color, absolutely. What happened to my little... Take this. Let's try to keep that whole, whole, and neat and clean. But since I don't have any other color on my, what I'm going to do is be a little bit more careful this time and take a little less paint. And let's go back in there and give that a chance to fill in the way it should. The more careful you are, the less work you have to do. Yeah, <laughs> so true. In the, uh, <laughs> as you can see, when I was slowly filling in this part, you can gouge out letters. Yeah. You, can gouge out letters. you can do lettering. There's all sorts of things you can do. And I have a feeling all my all my circles here are going to give me a little bit of a problem. 
No, that one isn't, actually. Is it because they're so tiny? They're small. But this is really for the, um, the person that's a little bit more detail-oriented, or a little anal like me. And that one doesn't want to stay. We'll, ha we'll have to fix, fix that. But is there a reason why it won't stay? or Probably just needs a little more finessing. Maybe there's not enough wax on the surface of this particular location on the panel so that the well isn't deep enough to hold the new collar. All right? There's nothing for the new collar to stick to. Uh, what, once in the... uh, right, right, right. And if I had a blue uh, oil stick here, which I don't, I would show you do you have a blue oil stick? I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm going back to those drips that we did in the clear medium. And I'm fusing them a little bit so that they stay. Taking a little bit of a darker wax. I'd love to be using a... Uh, this is really old, so it needs to be scraped. Yeah, no, you know what? And that's, um, that's a harder wax. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with that okay. brand, so I'm going to stick with what I have here, with what I know. Take off the skin. These are nice and creamy. Normally I'd have a glove on, which I should have a glove on, but I don't. Shame on me. What I'm doing now is hoping to get just the edges of these drips to catch the oil stick. And I'll be removing the excess oil stick, excuse me. Or you could have left it just like how you did with the little squiggles around there, right? Well, you couldn't see them. You want to see those. I want to see those oh, drips okay. right now. So what I'm doing is... Yeah, yeah, to highlight the edge. Yeah. See now that? Right. So, and we'll be going over a few more things with ways of using oil sticks in a few minutes. Thank you.